Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we are going to do something so stinking cute. Stay tuned. So to all of my subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate the fact that you give me some of your time every time that you choose to watch my videos. I know that you could go anywhere else on YouTube and watch a video and you choose to spend some of your time with me and that means so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. And for those of you who are watching, but you have not quite decided whether or not you're ready to commit to subscribing, go ahead. You will not be disappointed and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you will know every time I upload a new video. Today, guys, we are all about economical crafting for high-end results. And that's exactly what we are going to get today because Y'all know I love my skinnies, and today we are going to make some skinny cards that are just absolutely fabulous. And not only are we going to make the cards, but I'm also going to show you how to make your own custom envelope for these skinny cards. And the beauty of this project, guys, you're able to make all four cards and all four envelopes for under three dollars whole set under three dollars and based on what we're going to be using you can actually make a total of 16 16 cards and 16 envelopes for under eleven dollars now you talk about economical crafting this is certainly it but when you look at these cards, they don't look like they were made on the cheap. They look like something you would go into the store and buy. So I am going to show you the secret for getting the most out of your money in your paper crafting. So here is how it all starts, guys. We are going to be working with the white poster board that I get from the Dollar Tree that measures 11 by 14. And you get four pieces in here. So when we use one sheet to make four cards, it's only costing us 25 cents from this pack just to get the card bases. So I am starting this project with a piece that measures 11 by 14. So whether you have this particular um, poster board or not, if you want to follow the process to get four cards from this one sheet, I am starting with 11 by 14. So whatever you're using, 11 by 14 is the starting point. So here is everything that I am going to be using. We are going to need four pieces of white mat or any color mat that you want to work with. And this mat measures two and a quarter by five. And then I have four pieces of decorative cardstock that measure six and three quarters by two and a half. For my envelope, I have a piece that measures seven and a quarter by 12. And to make four envelopes, you will need four pieces that measure seven and a quarter by 12. And then I have my poster board and this measures 11 by 14. And then finally, I have selected some stickers and placed them out on this sheet. This is what I'll be using to decorate my cards. And I will also be accenting those cards using some twine. So I have four strips of twine. These are things that you don't have to put on yours, but I just thought it would add a little something to my card. And I'm gonna share something with you guys really, really quick that gave me a much needed chuckle. You guys know how I always say that I am not a card maker when I'm making cards, because I'm not. There are certainly some card makers out there who are doing some amazing things with ribbons and flowers and danglies, 
that's not me. Um, I make very simple cards and I don't consider myself to be a card maker. Well, one of you felt the need to let me know in a comment. The comment said, basically, you always say that you're not a card maker and the truth be told, you aren't. And honestly, I wasn't bothered by that comment because I don't consider myself to be a card maker. I actually found the comment to be a little bit humorous. Um, it wasn't the only thing that she said in the comment. She said some other very nice things, but she did let me know, girl, you're not a card maker. And every time I make a card, I do what I feel is right for my level of card making abilities. And that's what I really want to impress upon you guys. No matter what others think of your craft, if you're happy with it, that's all that matters. So when you're putting your items out on Posh Paper Lady Inspired on Instagram, as long as you're happy with it, that's all that matters. And I'm happy with the cards that I do make, even though they aren't as extravagant as some others, I'm happy with them. So really at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So we're going to get started on making these cards. So I am going to bring in my trimmer and I am going to place this in on the 14 inch side. And what I'm going to do is move it over to seven inches and I'm going to score. And this is going to give me two pieces that measure 11 by seven. Then I'm going to take one of the 11 by seven inch pieces turn it to the 11 inch side and trim at five and a half. So now I have two card bases. Then I'll take the second one, place it in on the 11 inch side, trim at five and a half. And now I have my four card bases. So now we're going to score these we're going to place them in on the five and a half inch side and we're going to score each one at two and three quarters. And we're going to make all four of these cards together. So I am going to go ahead and score at two and three quarters on the five and a half inch side. So now that we have our cards scored, I am going to fold and burnish each one of my cards. So now we have our four card bases. So I am going to set these over here. So I'm going to take my first one and what I'm going to do on all of these is just make a little mark because then I'm going to come back with my hole punch and punch where I want to put my ribbon. I'm not making a very big mark, just a mark, so that I can see where I need to punch. I am going to use my We Are Memory Keepers punch, find that dot, and then I'll punch, and then I'll find the other dot. And I'll punch. And actually what I'm going to do, because this particular punch, just like the crocodile, can go through multiple layers of paper at the same time. So I have these stacked. I am going to find my little dot and punch. And then I'll find my other dot and punch. So now I have my four little mats and I can take my twine and just feed that twine and just feed that twine through my holes just like this. I'm not going to tie a knot just yet. And I'm just using some red and white baker's twine that I bought from Target. 
many, many seasons ago at the end of the Christmas season when they were getting rid of a lot of Christmas items and I literally paid pennies for a gigantic roll of black and white and red and white twine. So now that we have those like that, I am going to use my tape runner and we are simply going to take our tape runner, add some tape, and I'm going to go over that ribbon as well. Then I'll bring in my decorative paper and when I place it, I'm going to place this about an eighth of an inch from the bottom because I definitely want to have that open space at the top and you guys are just going to see how easy it is to make these awesome awesome little skinny greeting cards and for those of you who have upcoming craft fairs tuck a few of these in because I think something like this would be something that people would be interested in buying. And like I said, I'm just placing tape on the back with my tape runner. If you have an ATG gun, you can use that. If you want to use tear tape, you can use that. I wouldn't use glue because it's really thin paper that I'm working with and I don't want any warping. There might be the potential for that, so I don't want that. So I am going to just use my tape runner. Okay, so now that we have these mounted to our decorative black and white piece, I'm gonna flip them over and just repeat that process. I am going to add tape to the back. And then I'll bring in one of my sweet little cards, my bases. And I am going to get this placed down just like that. And I'm going to do this on all of these. So I will just add my tape. Take my base. Place it down just like that. Use my spatula to get that stuck. card number three. Now we're only going to make one envelope even though I'm making four cards. I'm only going to demo the process to make one envelope because once we do one envelope you really don't need to see me do the rest of those. So I'm going to get that one stuck. This black and white paper, I got it from AC Moore when they were in the process of closing and they had their papers 10 for a dollar. So I went in, scooped up a whole bunch of paper and that means that I only used one sheet of that paper for this, less than one sheet actually. So it basically cost me 10 cents for the background on all four of these. Okay, so now that we have our cards like this, we are going to go ahead and start decorating. So I am going to bring in my sticker sheet. Very easy, very simple card making. I am going to take this sweet little Santa right here and I'm going to place him right there I'm going to go ahead, tie myself a little bow.
and you can see how cute this is looking already. Isn't that adorable? And across the top, I want to add just a little message. So I am going to take the one that says Christmas time, place it right there across the top, go ahead and just burnish that down. And so we have this one. So now I'm going to take this one. I am going to peel away my Christmas tree very carefully. I'm going to take my Christmas tree, place it right there, tie myself a little bow. And we've got that one. Then for this one, I think I'm going to take my Merry Christmas sticker. Take this one, put it at the top, burnish that down. Then I think I want just a little bit of this holly. So I am going to tear off some of that. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it right here at the bottom, but not all the way at the bottom. I still want some of that white showing. And then I'll open this up and just remove that excess. And isn't that a simple but cute Christmas card, y'all? It is absolutely easy, easy crafting. So I'm going to take my snowman, peel him up so that I don't tear off his arms. So now I'll take my snowman, I'm going to do the same thing with him by putting him down and I'll burnish him. I'm going to tie myself a little knot. And now I have another sweet card. I'm going to take some more of the holly Take that holly, place it right there, and then I'm going to trim off my excess. And now I'll find my sticker that I use on this one and I think I'm going to use this Christmas time sticker. I'm going to take this sticker, place it right here at the top. And it says Christmas time is here. And look at that guys, we already have three absolutely gorgeous little cards. We're going to make the last one. So I'm going to bring in my last base. We are going to take the stack of presents. And I am going to place them right here. And then I'm going to use my Merry Christmas sticker. Place that down. Just like that. Burnish that to get it stuck. I'll use my scissors to trim off my excess. And then I'm going to take my final little sticker from here that says Christmas greetings. And I will take that sticker and I'm going to place it right there. Now I'll tie my bow and do y'all see how that took no time at all? The actual card making portion of this video has not been edited. This was me actually making these cards with zero editing. So 
I didn't stop to find anything. Um, I didn't stop to change my mind. These were made in real time. So the amount of time that you see that it took, that is truly the amount of time that it might take you. So I am just going to come back and trim off just a little bit of the tail on my um, twine because it's a little longer than I want. So I am going to bring these into view so that y'all can see we have four absolutely amazing skinny Christmas cards that we didn't buy. We made these. So I am going to take these and stack them and I'm going to show you how we can make our own custom skinny envelope for these. So grab your seven and a quarter by 12 inch piece of cardstock or text weight paper, totally up to you. And here's how we need to score. On the seven and a quarter inch side, we're going to score at two and a quarter, and then we're going to score at five and a quarter. I'm going to slide that over just a little bit because it'll be easier for me. So again, on the seven and a quarter inch side, score at two and a quarter and five and a quarter. Then rotate it to the 12 inch side, score at two and a quarter. Rotate it to the opposite 12 inch side, score at two and a quarter. That's it. So now we are going to fold and burnish these scores. So then to cut out the envelope, we have our score marks. So we are going to angle in this way on this piece and then we'll do a slight angle here. And this is the bottom. We did a very slight angle, so that's going to be our bottom. It's not going to matter which one of these ends you go with because they're pretty much the same. So again, I am going to use this side as the bottom. I'm going to angle in here. And then I'll do a slight angle here. And it's going to look like this. So then I'm going to rotate it and this time when I go up to the score mark, I am going to do a very deep angle. It'll be like that. And then when I come to the longer side, I'll do another slight angle. And let's do that over here. So we are going to go to this score mark, place our blade, exacto knife or scissors, whichever one you're using, and do a very deep angle. And then when you remove this piece here, you will do a slight angle into that longer section. So when you have it done, this is how your envelope is going to look. So we're going to fold that in, fold that up, and we now have our envelope. So we are going to take our glue and we're going to place some glue right here on these flaps and then we'll take some glue and place it along the edge of this piece. So fold it up, bring in your bone folder, spatula, whatever it is you have that you want to use. And then I am going to use my paper towel to get that nice and stuck. So then to make sure that this is able to be closed and sealed, I am going to add some tape to the top. And now we have a fully functioning custom envelope for those skinnies. Now I think what I want to do is I am just going to add just a little something to the outside just to dress it up. A little bit. So now we have gone through the process for making four cards from one piece of 11 by 14 inch poster board or card stock, whatever you're able to get your hands on, and the process for making custom envelopes for these to go in. And I'm just going to take one, place it in my envelope so that you guys will see that everything is all good and it fits and this closes. 
How special is that? I mean, we have created what I think are very sweet and very cute little skinny note cards. And when finished, these note cards measure two and three quarters by seven. So stinking cute. So I am going to bring in the other cards so that you guys can see we can make this whole group here for about five dollars and fifty cents everything and i'm estimating that on the high end because i rounded up on a few things when i was figuring out the cost to make and so i rounded up probably get away with making all of this for five bucks guys it does not get any more economical than this so i hope i hope that you have enjoyed this process for making skinny christmas cards using dollar tree poster board and stickers and regular old cardstock if you have liked this process please hit the like button if you are not a subscriber to my channel, guys, this is how we do it all the time. It is never, ever going to be dull or cheap looking. It might be inexpensive to make, but it'll never be cheap looking. So if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Y'all be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.